Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm Han. And today we are going to do <laughs> epic axe battle. This time without fear. Yeah, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, I'm not. And that's the key part here. And we are going to also fix the city tool design from the pre pre previous axe video. Now they are just welded to the press. So they're not going to go anywhere. And we are going to push until death. There's no mercy or second rounds. The axes are going to be in half when the press is done. Yeah. Okay, first round, we have old Finnish Pilnas axe on the top tool. And here on the bottom, uh, it says Tarmo, but I think it's Chinese. Okay, I think I fucked up. It's it's in two. <laughs> I think we are going to put new axe on the lower tool. Okay, the first call was a bit of like thumbnail setup. This is the real setup that we are going to use, but this looks too confusing, so I wanted to try if it would work with that, but it didn't. And also the uh, Tarmo axe has really, really thin middle section. I think it really needs the support here. And don't worry, we have more old and new axes, so we are going to have fair fight. Now the uh, Pilnas is repaired by original Pilnas blacksmith, or then it was just me and some Kempi clue might be. <laughs> but it's good as new, here we go! So this is the spot that I repaired with the welding machine. So it's not or original Pilna steel anymore, it's Kempe steel. <laughs> but uh, we have more of these old axes, but this looks nice. Yeah. And hey, hey, it's the, it's the, it's the oh. same problem with the new axes. This here is just too weak. Yeah, yeah but uh, I think we are getting there. Mm -hmm. Let's throw new axes, ones that don't have the weak spot here. Mm -hmm. And then I weld a lot more, because this ripped off here. Okay, now we have some welding going on there. Probably shit according to comment box, but I don't care. It, it is what it is. And now we have this fin bullet hammer. And then on the lower tool, old fish cars from the Flea market and they are really similar size. So I think this is old Finnish versus new Chinese. Fair fight. I put my money on the Fiskars. What is Hanna's opinion? Well, I have to say then Finn Bullet. No, you don't have. You can choose. No, I will say Finn Bullet. You say Finn Bullet. Yeah, it's interesting they want to name everything according to Finland. Maybe there is a secret Finnish axe factory and we are making laugh like fun of them and mm. their fine products. But I say that it's probably Chinese, you can't fool me.
Mä sen tiisi, Pat. There is also this way. Yeah, check. It's like almost brand new. Yeah, there is like no sign of. Not any serious problems. Yeah. Oof. I have, I have great idea. Mm-hmm. I'm going to weld the anvil to the top tool. Ah. And let's see how the Fiskars does. Oh, how does Fiskars go with Chinese silver? Finnish axe versus Chinese anvil. Yeah. That's not a fair fight, but I don't care. Let's do it. But before the last mayhem, update on our dice project. I have the dice here. These are aluminium. Here on the high speed you see gold plated and stainless steel. And they look really nice. They are just like I planned them to be. And they are made in Canada, really high quality. And it's super nice to get dice finally here. The rest of the team is in Canada and we have been working like half a year on this project. And even on a simpler product like this, there has been a lot of things to like plan and decide and master, like regarding to materials, machining, packaging, everything like that. Luckily we have really experienced team working with the project. And we are now machining the dice. We have about 2000 ready. We are also working on some uh, marketing materials and stuff like that for the Kickstarter. But it's almost done. The actual launch when you can buy it is going to be 28th of December. And you can now go check out the Kickstarter page. There is more information there. You can follow the page and then you get notification when you can buy them. And of course I will tell it also here. And even if you are not planning to buy them, just following the page will help. Because we need shitload of clicks there to get good visibility for the project. And yes, we are going to expand the collection in the future. So if you start now, you can like expand it later. And yes, we are going to have Wolfram dice. One dice to rule them all. <laughs> and now back to the back to the anvil mayhem. You don't yeah. have to split firewood, you can split anvils. anvils. There is some. Hey, okay, check. Well, yeah. Check. It's, it's not been completely like, okay, it's already won like the Chinese axe. But it's like, it's chopped a piece there. But you can see that it's really hard steel because it cracks like that. I think this was way more interesting than I thought. Mm -hmm. And you can see here. Yeah, it has definitely like, cut something. First it has been like cutting and then it's been snapping. Mm. Multiple phases on the process. And after you have checked out our Kickstarter page, you should probably watch this video. It's our fire truck video from Beyond the Press channel. Click it here. It's, it's good. Yeah, and that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Tää hyvää